Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video. Welcome to this thing that it was supposed to be a retrospective review of my System76 Gazelle laptop that I've been using for more than two years but then it turned into something different. So while I was doing some research regarding specs and uh, all the technical aspect of the modern laptop, the modern laptop that they supposed to be supporting Linux or the manufacturers claim that they support Linux, I started noticing a trend that Apple started like many years ago. Stuff like thin frames, solder parts, lack of ports, the inability to uh, hot swapping the battery and so on are all symptoms of the same disease, the pre-programmed obsolescence. Pre-programmed obsolescence is that practice of building something with the purpose of being obsolete before it actually can be. So you do something on a specific piece of hardware or software in order that in uh, the specific amount of time that you decide you need to replace it because it's not usable anymore. But before getting into it, you know why you don't want to be obsolete at all? Your cloud VPS provider. And SkySilk is the perfect solution for you. Whether you're a senior developer with hundreds of websites or a student in the need of a cheap and trustworthy solution to host your web projects, SkySilk is the cloud service provider you've been looking for. With machines starting at only $2 a month, with 3 GB per second of built-in DDoS protection, fast SSD, a convenient reward system, and a user spotlight program that rewards you based on your projects, choosing SkySilk is really a no-brainer. Their intuitive step-by-step -step setup system allows you to spin up a new VPS in less than two minutes. And thanks to their newly released Linux templates, you can create a new VPS with everything ready to go from the first boot. And if for whatever reason you stumble upon a problem, you can be sure their support is top-notch with detailed documentation, tutorials, and an ever-growing Discord channel to share and learn among other users. SkySilk is also the only cloud provider that pays you back the more you use it. I know it sounds insane, but it's true. New user will automatically have access to 100% credit match on your first deposit, up to $200. So if you recharge your SkySilk balance by, let's say, $20, you'll get extra $20 on top of that. If you sign up to date, you will also get $250 in credit to use in the first 60 days. That's $250 you can use to boot as many machines as you want for two full months, so you can test the hell out of this system without spending a cent of your own money. Additionally, you can use the promo code ALEC at SkySilk to get 25% off of your first three months, even after the initial $250 credit expire. I've been hosting all my sites and projects on SkySilk for more than a year, and I never looked back. Long gone are the days of unexpected charges, terrible administration panels that only confuse you, or slow and unreliable VPS. Click the link in the description below and use the promo code ALEC at SkySeal to get your personal cloud VPS. Don't get me wrong, I like new things. I wish to have new and shiny things every day. I love the progression of technology. I'm not against that. The things that I don't like is the fact that all these uh, computer manufacturers, they hide behind the fact of convenience and reliability just to force us to buy new hardware once every year or once every two years. The main argument is about solder parts. The more we go on, the less removable or swappable or repairable replaceable parts are inside our laptops. We started with the RAM, now we're moving towards like the Wi-Fi adapter or the SSD um, and all the other components being slowly being soldered, so nothing is replaceable. The main argument for solder parts is that you remove the human error. So the soldering is done by a machine and you remove the pin connectors, everything can be smaller and shorter. It allows you to make thinner laptops, lighter laptops with less human errors, it's more reliable and all this kind of stuff stuff but if it was true then we would have a way cheaper laptops because you reduce the cost everything is done by a machine is not 
done by a person, the production speed increases, and all these things should affect the cost of a laptop. But laptops are getting more and more expensive every year, and we're not getting the same convenience and the same reliability we used to get in the past years. So that's something wrong here. Let's take, for example, the System76 Gazelle laptop that I've been using for the past two years. Uh, this thing is a brick. You can say a lot of negative things. Well, not a lot, but you can say a couple of negative things about this. It's it's pretty big, it's bulky, it's not easy to carry around. If you travel, if you want to use it on a plane, it's really it's not doable. It's made of plastic, so this thing is just plasticky thing and if you push it too hard it bends it's kind of weird you you think like it feels flimsy it doesn't feel really sturdy but i've been using it for two years now and it never failed on me a single day i never had the necessity to grab a dongle because i couldn't use one of the many ports i have everything that i need to do my work and the day that it broke actually the hinge the plastic hinge here broke because i wasn't really careful i was able to replace everything for less than a hundred dollars because everything is replaceable so i just sent it to system 76 and they took all the parts in they put it in a new chassis and they sent it back and I had almost basically a new shiny computers with the same parts inside and I spent nothing, which is really convenient. Something like that, unfortunately, you cannot do with a modern laptop. Circling back a little bit on Linux because it's one of my thing, I love Linux and I think it's one of the main solution to fight the pre-programmed obsolescence is that it's well known, it's a well known fact that Linux works best on older hardware. The kernel is compatible with older hardware, you can buy a 7 years old Lenovo laptop ThinkPad, you can swap a couple of components inside, a couple of hardware pieces, and then you have a brand new laptop that can go on for other 3-4 years, and this is fantastic. But the thing is that I'm seeing in these manufacturers that they claim to support Linux, like Lenovo or Dell even, there's not real uh, effort in making it fully compatible with Linux actually. Like, for example, Dell keeps releasing the developer edition of their XPS, but even the new version of the XPS, they keep using the killer Wi-Fi adapter instead of the standard Intel Wi-Fi adapter. And the killer Wi-Fi adapter is not fully compatible with the Linux kernel, and you have spotty Wi-Fi, something doesn't really work. Even simple things like firmware updates, you cannot do them if you don't have Windows installed. Something that System76 doesn't care, it releases firm firmware update for all your hardware directly from Linux and that's why I love companies like System76 and there are other companies like smaller companies that they just care about Linux compatibility. You buy your laptop, you buy your computer and it's yours and it's supported and it lasts for a long time and you can do whatever you want with it and Instead, with these other companies, with these other manufacturers, it feels like you're just renting. You're not actually owning because they decide for how long you will be able to use the laptop. They do these, they, they make this decision in order to prevent you to upgrade, in order to um, force the force the laptop to become obsolete sooner than later. And you can make all your arguments that you want about reliability about cost saving but i don't believe all this bullshit it's just bullshit i i don't believe this system 76 laptops are they they go against the trend and they're still more reliable than the more expensive and mainstream counterparts so why is that and of course these manufacturers are kind of trying as much as possible to prevent you from using Linux because if you install Linux on a computer and you can use it for seven plus years, then you're not gonna go back as a customer. You're not gonna pay more after one or two years to buy new hardware because the one that you were using before with Windows is not it's, it's not good anymore. It's just too slow. It doesn't work. It overeats. It's not just all these stupid crazy problems that They're totally made up. They shouldn't happen with something a machine that if you have a machine from two years ago You shouldn't spend two thousand dollars or more to buy a machine today. That is just 10 
20% faster than you had two years ago? Like, do you really have that much convenience and then that massive upgrade that justifies $2,000? It justifies the fact that every two years you need to buy a new computer. And also all these computers that we keep buying, the rest, they go in the landfill. They just go in the trash bin and we're just destroying the environment just because we want the new shiny things every, every year. So I don't really know where I'm going with this video. I don't know like what's the purpose of this, but probably it's mostly a video for myself. For all those days where I look online and I'm browsing and I see the new ad or the new review of the shiny new laptop and I get really uh, jealous of, oh man, I have this old brick that it's really thick and I cannot bring it on. I don't know, I cannot sleep in inside my backpack super easily. I cannot bring it on a on a plane. I cannot work it from, I cannot work from a, my favorite coffee shop on a, on a couch. Like how many times do you actually do that? Like I work on a desktop, so I don't really need this. All these marketing around me is trying to forcing me to buy new things just because they feel f they so cool. They're so new, so I feel so jealous that I don't have it, but I don't actually need it with my needs, with Linux and all the things that I do, a two, three years old laptop, a five years old Lenovo ThinkPad, a System76 laptop that cost $900, it's way better than the newest and super crazy stupid things that, because it's so thin and light has thermal throttling, so I don't even get the return in performance of what I actually pay the CPU for. So it's, it's stupid insane. So. Whatever, let's conclude this thing by saying that don't buy new laptops, <laughs> go to System76 or Tuxedo Computer or Pine, like, I don't know, just let me know in the comments below if you know all these companies, they actually do custom PC or custom laptops for Linux. Just, we should have a good list of the actual manufacturers we should go to instead of going to this mainstream that they're just ripping us off. So yeah, uh, don't buy new computer, buy old, refurbished laptops, go to System76 or similars, use Linux, save the environment in the meantime, and at the end of the day, thank you guys for watching and I talk to you in the next one.